Hello everyone. In today's lecture, we are going to learn a lots and lots about a topic called surface chemistry. And first of all, what is surface chemistry? Assume your kids are out for playing. By the time they left house, they may be looking clean and tidy. But at the moment when they come back, the scenario is entirely different. They'll be the most clumsiest with dirt on their face and all over their cloth. Here is the question now. Whether the dirt is deep inside the blood? No, isn't it? It's present only on the surface. In the same way, we'll go for a next example. There is a tray on the screen which has been spilled with the soft drink or say colored water. Then if you take a small piece of butter paper and just dip upon it, what happens is the soft drink gonna remain only on the surface. It is not deep inside. This indicates that some of the things can be present only on the surface. They may not be deep inside. By using these two examples, we can clearly come to the conclusion that surface chemistry is something which is going to deal with the things which gonna happen only on the surface or on the interfaces. Now friends, so many questions may arise in your mind that why do we need to study a uh, surface chemistry? If you take an enzyme, all its activity and functions are closely knit to the surface chemistry. And cleaning of cloths using a soap or a detergent all works by the principles of surface chemistry. And if you look at all the dairy products such as milk, uh, butter and then cheese all are associated to surface chemistry as collides that we'll see in the later part of the topic. Rusting is a phenomenon which occurs only on the surfaces not deep inside. You all might seen a silica gel package even it has a lots of job to do on its surface. Next two are the recent applications of surface chemistry. The first one is charcoal peel off mask which removes the tanning of skin and the later is charcoal toothpaste removes colorant from the tooth. Then here we go due to corona crisis the most trending thing is considered to be mask which also uses the theme of a surface chemistry. Now students let us have a small glimpse of what we are going to read under this topic. We have adsorption, catalysis and collides. In the first part of surface chemistry we are going to read about adsorption and catalysis under which the outline goes like adsorption and then types of adsorption then we're gonna see adsorption isotherms then applications of isotherms catalysis last but not least enzyme catalysis